Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. This is a super exciting day. As you can see behind me, I got a giant piece of metal and that gas tank over there is off of the dozer. So I tried to clean out that gas tank. I did the best I could. I dropped a bunch of rocks and nails and everything in there, um, put it back on and the rust immediately plugged it back up. So instead of trying to clean that thing, I think I'm just going to build a new one out of this stuff right here. So let's see. All right, so as you can see, I have both pieces clamped together right here, and I'm gonna grind them down while they are clamped together. And the idea behind that is hopefully the contour stays the same since I'm gonna be grinding them together. All right guys, so we got all the pieces cut so far and you can see I got a little pigtail behind me for the generator. I don't have a welder plug installed in the shop yet, so I still have to run this off the generator. Um, just much easier for me to just run it off the generator still just for now. So I gotta run and get some fuel for that. So let's do that. All right, so you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me once this thing gets running, but what I did is I went to Harbor Freight down in town and I bought some different rod I was using, I think, 6013 in 330 seconds, and like it would not run. This is an AC welder. It would not run off of that for some reason. I could not hold an arc with it. So we're going to try the 6011, and if that doesn't work, we got some really small rod. This is 16th diameter. Um, so hopefully one of these two will burn into this, and we can actually seal it up and make it useful. All right, I think I need to get this thing off the sawhorses and I need to get it on the ground so I have like something to push against and uh, yeah, see if we can somehow get this thing bent over.
All right, so obviously I got a little carried away with the hammering. I've never really done anything like this, so I didn't know. I was just kind of trying stuff. From here on, it should be a little bit smoother. So what I think I'm gonna do now is, as you saw, I can obviously get it bent into the shape that I want. So I'm gonna mark where I need to cut this thing. I want it to overlap just a little bit so I have something to weld on. So I'll roll this down, get it where I want, mark it, flip it back, cut it, then we'll roll it all back and tack it up. All right guys, so we got this thing two thirds of the way welded up right now. I got both ends welded up and you can see the middle still bulging out. That needs to be sealed up, but check this out. It's not turning out perfect, but I think it's gonna be functional for sure. So this is 16 gauge sheet metal, pretty thin. I'm using a 332nd 6011 rod, running it at about 95 amps and it's kind of a pain you can kind of get some good beads going once you get some metal stacked up. I haven't chipped this slag or anything. I still need to clean all of it up. It is definitely not the prettiest. It's not gonna win any fashion shows. You can see where there's some burn through. I fell through on the side there, um, but I don't think it's going to matter. And if it you know, does leak there, I can just seal it back up. But uh, yeah, not gonna win any awards. That's where I burned a nice big hole right there. But uh, as long as it is sealed, it's going to be covered up by the hood on that thing anyway, over there, that dozer. So, yeah, pretty stoked on it. Okay, so I got this thing filled up with water here. See the water right at the bottom of the neck. We're gonna give it five minutes, 10 minutes, make sure it doesn't leak at all. Doesn't appear to be leaking. All this is just water that I spilled when I was pouring it in there. Didn't get a funnel, but yeah, I can't see any leaks initially. So looks good so far. We do have a little leak. You can see it's leaking down there. Um, and I've kind of just scratched out areas with rock. Um, where it's leaking. I don't know if you can see these lines I got scratched out, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to give it a weld, flip it over, give the other side a weld, see if it leaks. We're running a little low on rod. We've burned that whole pack of rod so far on this tank. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can uh, finish it off. Yeah, right. That's the tank sitting behind me. It leaked a little bit, so I tried to weld it, and I made it a thousand times worse. But I didn't care. I was going to use that tank. Anyway, I have a lot of grinding to do and a lot more welding to do now. I think it's because I was welding over the wet water. Or I don't know exactly what it was, but oh well. Let's finish it up, though.
Well, I've been welding on this thing for quite a while. It looks better. Doesn't look good. Shouldn't be proud of it. Why don't we roll her on over and see if she's watertight. So you can see it is definitely less than watertight. And this is after three days of working on this thing. Three full days, lots of cost of material. And this side we have one spot over here that's sealed, but for the most part, also not sealed. So I think at this rate, my next option is to get a sealer kit, but I'm done with this for a while. I just can't for a little bit on this thing. I just got to let it be and think about it and uh, kind of figure it out. I kind of think if I had, you know, some different uh, equipment other than that old stick welder, it probably could have turned out a little bit better. But I was just trying to work with all my own equipment and what I had to do the job. Um, so. You know, I guess better luck next time with this. But like I said, it's not over. Maybe I'll buy one of those seal kits and try to figure that out. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. And we will see you in the next video.